Hi everybody and welcome back to some more MXGP2 here on this channel. This is KPG Guna here and in today's episode we are in France for the GP race. Now we're not doing too bad with this custom championship with Maximilian Nagel and also the support on this series has been absolutely brilliant. Thanks so much for everyone that's commented, liked the videos and has just joined me on this uh, journey. It's been absolutely brilliant. Also guys, um, I've been asked uh, a few times to change up the views. Now we did in the last series and we're going to do that again. So in today's episode we're going to be in first person view hopefully um, I should be okay on it because I haven't done this circuit for a while but uh, let's get straight into it guys this should be a good one Also guys, to all you new subscribers, in this championship we start in 22nd place, we don't do any qualifying, it's on the maximum level, realistic, on pro physics, and we just try and win it over 5 laps. Now we've done really well so far, let's see if we can do well in this one. So this is going to be a little bit more challenging first person view, so let's see if we can get a good start, and off we go. Now it's quite difficult to turn into this right hander straight away. Let's just try and take a wider line and just try it and stay on the bike. And that wasn't too bad. Let's see if we can just get up the inside of the Diker here and accelerate. And yes, oh God, just made a slight contact there with him. But uh, we managed to stay on the bike. Now it does uh, it does um, throw you around a bit uh, in this view. It takes a while to get used to it. So I don't use it all the time. I try and mix it up. In the last series, I did one race in normal view and then one race in this view. But I haven't used this view for a while. And it just takes a little while to get used to it. And plus, because you don't, uh, I don't do any of the, the change in the setup on the bike, so it just takes a while just to get used because you don't land as well if you haven't set up the bike. But we haven't had a bad start. We're sitting in eighth position. Can we get uh, closer to Koldenhoff, which is in front? I mean, we've got five laps to try and win this race, so hopefully we should do okay. But we've just got to just settle in onto the circuit. It takes about a lap or so to just get to the circuit in your, in your mind and then you can start really trying to push it. Oh God, that's a really difficult corner there. Let's just try and uh, just catch up the others. Uh, I don't know who's a lead in the race. It might be Kai Rowley or Roman Febra. They're the two that uh, seem to be doing really well in this chat. Yes, it's Kai Rowley. It looks like and Febra fighting at the front. So, so that's the two that we've got to try and catch her. Let's just try and get towards the end of this first lap. Right, that was a good jump through there. Trying to close down on Colton Hop here. Can we get past him here? Oh God, we are starting to gain on him. Just trying to do a nice whip and scrub there. Trying to get a decent speed through those jumps. And we enter the second lap. So that's one lap out of the way. Let's get a nice line through there. And that was a, that was a pretty good jump there. We managed to take two positions in that in that uh, corner there. And we're up to sixth place. Now we've got to just try and just get a little bit closer to the leading pack going into the next couple of laps. They're just starting to pull away. And we need to start reacting because uh, if they get too far ahead. Oh, God. I uh, got lost the place there as I went through the jump. This is uh, try. It's uh, Ryan uh, Villapoto, and uh, he is really trying to get past me here. Oh, God, slight contact again. Let's try and get past him. There's De Sally there as well in front of us. We've got to try and latch onto him and try and get past him as well, and so we can get into the top five on this second lap. But looking down the bottom of the hill, they're really starting to pull away. There must be about a three-second gap between me and the front. I need to start reacting. I don't do too bad on this circuit. I've had a couple of decent wins on here. So hopefully we can start pushing the bike now. I um, mean, our lap wasn't really quick for the first lap, but that was just our lap to just try and get used to the circuit. Right, let's just see if we can get past a few more and get into a podium position coming towards the end of this lap. Get a nice turn in here, trying to take a wider line there. Oh God, dear, I lost the place in that corner. Went a little bit too slow in there, but can I take two in that corner? Oh no, I've been taken off. Oh, that's a mistake, and we've dropped down to a P9. That was my own fault. I went in there way too hot, and sometimes in that view, you can't see the other riders and whereabouts they were, and that was my own fault, and that's going to really put the pressure on now. We've probably lost even more uh, pace with the leading riders, and we're going to have to really start gunning it now. Let's see if we can just latch onto Koldenhoff here and try and catch up with the others here. Let's try and get a tight line through here, staying on the bike. Oh God, wasn't that great going through there. And again, Coldenhoff came flying around there and took the position back. We are really struggling. We're on lap three and we're sitting in P8. This isn't going too well here in France. 
Let's see if we can get a nice line through there. That was not a bad line there, and we just jumped up a couple of places, and we're back into fifth place. That's more like it. Now we've got to try and really catch those leading riders going into the next lap, because we're not we're running out of time. Oh God, that wasn't bad there again. Got a nice jump through there, and we're up to P4. That's more like it. Or is he going to fight back? I think he's going to try and fight back. Let's try and get a nice jump over the, the, the hill there. And we'll go down here, just checking that they're not going to come up the inside. But we took a better line through there. Now we need to start improving now. Let's see if we can catch up with these two in front as we go into the full, coming towards the full flap. And that's not going to give us much time. But that again, that was a nice jump through there. And it looks like it's a... Oh, it's my teammate, Walters, and a Febra in front of us. And Cairo has just pulled away from them. So he's going for it. He probably wants to get uh, a win in today's uh, race because he is uh, lacking a bit in the championship. So I think it's me and DeSalle that uh, are leading the championship at the moment. And I think uh, Roman Febra is up there, so there, thereabouts. Oh, what a jump through there. What a corner that was. And that's jumped us right up to P3. We're just having a little bit of a head-to-head -head with Febra here. Can we just... Hold this position, coming around the corner. Just got to try and stay on the bike. And now we're entering the full flap. So we're on the full flap and we're in P2. What a recovery after that uh, that fall that we had. That was an awesome couple of laps there. So let's see if we can really gun it now and try and get into the lead. And see if we can take the win in this uh, French GP today. That would be awesome. I'm not sure what circuit we've got coming next. But uh, we've got uh, really... Some tricky ones coming up looking at um, the calendar last time I had a look uh, there's one Italian circuit that I find really really challenging and that's coming up soon so uh, that on this level five laps done in 20 seconds is probably going to be a really really difficult race to win but uh, we try our hardest in each race so hopefully we can just catch up with Cairoli here We've still got one more lap after this one, but we need to get a bit closer because there's still quite a decent gap between us. See if we can get a better line through there. We are starting to close him down slightly, and the gap is ooh, good. just over one and a half seconds, and we've got a good line through there, and we've closed it down even more. We're really starting to push now. Let's get a nice whip there. Let's really try and push and get a nice line through this slow corner. Turn it in. Oh, that's awesome. We are really starting to close him down now, and he's probably well aware of that. He's going to start to start panicking soon as hopefully we can force him into a mistake right get a nice line through this corner that's the corner I fell off but this time we haven't got any riders close behind so we were okay let's get a nice jump through this if you take it really well and again that's worked really well for us and we're really catching up with him we're really close behind him now can we take him on the final lap and try and win this GP here in France and we get a nice line through there, we get a nice line up the hill, and we've taken first place, but Cairoli's right beside me, and he's probably going to try and fight back into the next corner, Let's just fight and just be aware that he may come up the inside, take a nice wider line through there, yes, oh god, he's really on my tail here, just try and be careful, he doesn't knock me off, and that's a really good line through there, but he's really close behind me, and he's trying to attack and he's back in the lead i knew that he wouldn't take it lying down and he's trying to go head to head with us here on the final lap in this french gp circuit let's see if we can just try and get past him here nice jump there we just made slight contact and i've got my teammates sitting in third position this could be a really good uh, result for the red bull team here can i just try and just get a nice jump over here and just stay ahead of Cairoli, and I think we've just managed to pull away from him slightly. He's only just gone over the top of that hill there as I turn into that corner, and I've just pulled a five, well, 0.5 uh, second gap away. So hopefully we can just maintain that. Oh God, took a bit of a tight line through there. That was a bit of a risk. Really struggling to just uh, to go. The landing on this uh, setup isn't that great, but um, us not doing. Um, qualifying does add the difficulty so we don't set up the bike we're just going to use it on the default setup sometimes uh, it works well on some circuits some it's a little bit tricky especially on the landings but uh, we're doing okay we're managing to just uh, go with it and uh, we've only got a little way to go and I think the gap is big enough and we're going to come home and get another victory here in France and this is an awesome recovery after that us going down on the second lap this has been brilliant. And there you go, guys. We take another victory in this custom championship. And that was really, really good. I mean, we started off a little bit uh, edgy. We were struggling a bit over some of the jumps, but we recovered, settled down, and we took a victory with Kyro in second, Febra, and our teammate, Todd Waters, in fourth. So looking at the standings, um, 
Obviously, I got maximum points, and it's uh, DeSalle, DeSalle in second, Febra and Kai Rowley. So those are the four. And so uh, I've just pulled away slightly. I've got quite a bit of a gap um, in the standings, but that could soon change. Um, there's some, like I said, there's some difficult uh, circuits coming up, and it's going to be a real challenge. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please give this a thumbs up, and I will see you soon for some more MXGP2 here on this channel. Thank you so much, and bye-bye, guys.